Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to build this little whirly gig and it's got a propeller that spins and if it works properly it should face into the wind and the propeller should spin at the same time so if you want to see if it really works you'll have to join us and see. Well let's get started on building this uh, little whirly gig. The first thing of course that you need are some kind of plans or whatever it is you're going to use to make it and of course you're going to need some wood and when it comes to wood choices there's a few things that you can look at I know a lot of people use plywood I don't like plywood because this is going to be outside and unless you're using marine grade plywood and even then um, it's going to get rained on it's going to get the sun beating on it and plywood tends to split before very long when it's put out in the elements even when it's painted you really would need to keep on painting and painting the other thing you could use is cedar uh, red cedar for example what I don't like about red cedar as much as it's perfect outdoor wood uh, it doesn't take paint very well in this case I you know how much I hate painting wood but this is going to need to be, be painted so what I've selected for this is something in between the cedar which is an outdoor wood and more of a um, I guess more of an indoor wood if you will um, and I'm going to use some red alder and if we keep it painted uh, it should last a long long time there and that fits perfect on our piece of wood so now I'm just going to draw around this and then we'll cut it out there's what we have to cut out and we could use a few things to cut that out. I could use my scroll saw, uh, I could even use my little jigsaw to cut that out but I'm going to use my bandsaw because there's no real tight, the only corner is this one that's, uh, that's a little bit on the tight side and this band should go around that without too much problem. I'm just going to clean up some of the rough edges now. Now, if you've been looking at this and thinking, gee, it's awfully thick, it is it is pretty thick it's a little bit thicker than 3 8 but I wanted it to have some depth at the at the front and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the bandsaw and I'm going to trim off the tail all the way to about where the cockpit would be so that it will actually tend to want to move back and forth a little bit more in the wind so we're going to take all of this bulk off right now Okay, I have my lines marked on there, and I know this is going to be a little bit rough, but we're going to clean it up either with a hand plane or with the sander. there's the outline of the body of our plane that was kind of the easy part now we have to make the wings but I think the tough part is going to be how are we going to attach the wings and I haven't quite figured that out yet I've got some ideas but let's make the wings first of all there's sort of what that's going to look like head on and I don't want these wings to be out really really far anyway I left this at 12 inches and I think what I'll do is we'll drill a couple holes on either side of this and then we'll just cut out a slot between them and we'll drop this through. Now we still have to round over these uh, wing tips a little bit 
um, and maybe we'll even put a, a leading edge and a trailing edge on it. So I'm just going to work at this now and I'll do all of this off camera because this is just a little bit of chisel work. I think that'll... Oh, there we go. There it is. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there on the front, top and bottom, and then we'll just slide it in. Just there we go, just slide that in like that. What's it look like underneath? Oh well, that's good. So I just made a little template out of wood and I used that on both sides to cut out the propeller. So I'm just going to go to the bandsaw and cut that out. But I'm going to leave the ends, or I'm going to cut the ends uh, with a little uh, square end, then I'll round that off. Then I have this doweling that I found for some other project that we were doing. And uh, we'll use it for the nose and we'll put the props, all of the props, we'll just glue them into that. We'll drill some holes in that. Well, I'm at the point where I am fitting in the props and I need to make sure they're not too tight so they don't split the end but I still want them snug and once I've got them all in then we'll glue them I'm just curious to see if that will spin yeah, there we go. Now because this is going outside, we need to use things that are uh, water, not only waterproof, but also rust proof. So I have this stainless steel, uh, it's like a stainless steel nail that goes through the prop and it spins. You can see it spins, spins nice and freely. I also have a brass washer. I'm going to put that on the back. And that's important because now when I nail this on to the actual fuselage of this of our whirly gig here, um, I don't want the propeller to be binding. And that's what that little washer will do at the back there. What we're going to do is drill a hole up from the bottom and that's why we need to find the center point or the balance point. So we're going to drill a hole up from the bottom. Then, at, then we're going to use this very small screw and we're going to screw that up into the bottom of that hole. And we're going to use, in our case here, we're going to use this ball bearing and I've got this it's an old ball bearing that I got um, from a bicycle, but you can get these anywhere, uh, and they work really well. There's going to be a ball bearing there. Then I've just got this, I couldn't find anything that worked, that would fit in here, so I'm using this galvanized nail, and I just cut the head off, and it will go up and the bearing is actually going to be the part that pivots. It'll make it pivot very easily. But what I discovered in doing this is that if you even take the bearing out and just use the nail, sharpen the nail to a nice fine point and it runs up inside there, it actually does a really good job of pivoting. So there's another idea if you're making these. You could uh, just use a and a good iron nail, sharpen it nicely so that there's as, as little friction and wear as possible and that can do the trick for you. So the first thing we need to do is find the pivot point. So I'm just going to sort of hold this and find out where There it is right there. OK. 
Okay, now we'll put that little screw in the bottom of that hole. And we just want to snug it up. Then we can drop the ball bearing in and put the nail on top. And there we go, that pivots very nicely. Okay, so I have the fan set up here and the plane is right here. And I'm going to put it off at an angle so that it's right angles to the wind because what should happen is it should, if the if this fin is big enough here, it should catch the wind and and head the plane right into the wind. So let's uh, turn the fan on here and see what happens. Well, we have a working whirly gig. It was a fun little project. I've never built one of these before, so the whole thing was uh, as new to me as it is to you if you've never built them before either. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, to do that, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, oh, and connect with me on uh, Google Plus as well. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web.